Good morning. We're about to do a deep plane facelift. My patient is 57 years old and she's complaining of some jowling in her lower face and she has some neck laxity. The neck laxity is not severe, so I'm going to focus primarily on her lower face. The lower facelift via a deep plane technique involves incisions around the lines of the ear here, elevating the skin, going into the deep plane of the muscles, which is the SMAS muscle, elevating that off the deeper structures, and then removing the excess skin from around the ear. We've already given her her medications, and I'm going to show you what we did. The unique aspect of my practice is I focus primarily on aging face, and I primarily do my deep plane facelift technique under local anesthesia. So my patients get oral medications to relax them, and then they get a local anesthesia placement in the area of the surgery. Surgeries usually take about between an hour and a half to two and a half hours. I find it safer this way without going under general anesthesia. However, it is depending on the uh, surgeon preference and the surgeon comfort level on these kind of surgeries. The operating room is ready with my nurse and my surgical tech, so we're gonna show you how the process is done today. The important parts of the surgery are as follows. The patient has to be made comfortable. So they get oral medicines to relax them. So they get a combination of Vicodin, they get a combination of uh, Valium, they get a combination of an antibiotic, they get a nausea medication as well. I started putting my patients on uh, prednisone as well to help with the post-op recovery and swelling. The local anesthesia aspect of the procedure is also relatively straightforward. I use a combination of a dilute local anesthesia, which is made up in a saline bag of lidocaine, sodium bicarb, and epinephrine. And I also use the local anesthesia, which is a 1% lidocaine with epinephrine solution. All of the solutions are buffered with sodium bicarbonate to make them more comfortable as the injection without the sodium bicarbonate can be a little painful. How are you feeling? I'm feeling thanks. Okay, turn up to this guy for me and head to the right for me. So we're about to do some markings around the ear here. Her face is already prepped and draped. So the markings are in the crease up here. We do an incision in the hairline up here. We go recto trago. I do a notch of the inferior aspect of the tragus so there's no blunting of the tragus there. We follow the line of the earlobe. We go about one centimeter from the sulcus, and then I do a zigzag over here into the hairline, and there. I also mark the extent of the skin bed section. We're going to feel a couple pinches now, okay? Mm -hmm. Quick pinch over here, pinch down here, and then a quick pinch up here in the hairline. Okay, now I'm going to put more numbing on the back of the neck here and inside of the face here, okay? This is the dilute local anesthesia solution. I go into the areas I just anesthetized. So this is the worst part of the procedure, okay? Okay. You doing okay? Mm -hmm. Now on the side of the face over here, okay? Okay. Okay, the last bit of numbing around here, then we're done, okay? okay. We're gonna start the incision now with the 15 blade. The incision in the hair tuft is beveled to allow the hair to grow back through the incisions. These are all perpendicular. So now we're going to elevate the skin flap from behind the ear. So now we're going to elevate the skin flap from the side of the face here. Numbing the sub smash or deep plane area with more dilute local anesthesia. Here we go, more pinches, okay? Thank you. Mm -hmm. Here's the angle of the mandible. This is a bill mount. We're going to enter from here. I enter sharply with a 15 blade. I turn your head a little bit more to the right for me, okay? Perfect. Yep. You're doing great. Okay, almost done here. Okay. And I'm releasing the masseteric and mandibular ligaments all here. And down here, I'm in her neck. I'm in the subplatismal area. So we can see that with the deep plane, we can get all this elevation up here. Are you comfortable? Yeah. Great. So I look for elevation of the 
upper neck and the jowls when I do this first stitch here. I call it the 10 year stitch because it takes 10 years off your face. Wow, awesome. Mm -hmm. So this does two things. It elevates the lower face and upper neck laxity. Mm -hmm. Plus, moving this mass in a more superior position also adds volume to the mid-face area. We create a mass platysmal flap here. So I've elevated the platysmal all the way here. We're going to bring the platysmal flap now back into the, to contour the upper neck and the lower neck here. I'm going to use the cautery to help with any bleeding, but you can see with this technique, there's very little bleeding. Okay, so I'm going to start on the other side, okay? And okay. then I'll come back to this side and close you up here, okay? Okay. This gel is still here with the marionette line, but you can see how nice the contour of the face is there compared to here. Mm -hmm. so I'm going to start by putting that uh, numbing medicine here again, so you'll feel a couple shots again, okay? Mm -hmm. We're going to be closing and trimming the skin flaps here. So we're, we're, we did the hair tuft already, we're gonna go behind the ear right now. So we're all done with the uh, deep plane facelift. It was a local anesthesia procedure. She got oral medication as well. It took just over an hour and um, hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, please uh, send them out to us.